Shalom Haverim and welcome to Rega Be'ivrit. We are today in a very special parasha in Parashat Ki Tetze. Parashat Ki Tetze and the following week Parashat Ki Tavo are, are important because in both of the parashiyot we are really seeing the definition of the Ve'ahavta you see, God is taking a lot of time in teaching now the details behind loving our neighbors and ourselves. I would like us today to pick up the text specifically in the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 22, verse 1. He says, Lo cho achicha o etziv nidchim ve'italamta me'em hashev tashivam le'achicha. The opposite of loving your neighbor, according to the way the Torah is defining uh, the opposite, is, is the Torah come to explain to us what, is, what are we not to do, is actually not hating your brother, but is to be indifferent to your brother. The word that I want you to think about today is the word italamta. The word italamta is one of the most frightening words in the Torah. It's a word that signifies indifference. And the Torah says to us, no matter what you do, you are not to be indifferent for your brother needs. Do not be indifferent for your brother suffering. Do not be indifferent for your brother loss. These are the things such as like anichum avelim, those who are mourning to comfort those who are falling, more, more, uh, 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 lost. Uh, a loved one, those are the ABC or somebody who, who have lost something physical. That's, that's part of this entire thing of Nihumim. And the Torah tells us this year that when we see the Nihumim, we are to do a going above and restore the physical loss to our own brother. And listen to what the Torah continue. It says, Ve'im lo karov achicha, meaning karov, you know, the word karov, it's mean near, but I think the Torah have a different interpretation for the word karov here. We will so elecha velo yadato ve'asafto ve'asafto el toch beitecha. If your brother is stranger to you, when he's talking about karov, he doesn't talk about physical cons- uh, physical closeness. He's talking about being far from him spiritually like a long distance relationship, somebody you have not seen for a long time, somebody you have not talked to in a very long time. Guess what you must do? Even if he is far, this is a stranger, you are to even go and to fulfill the mitzvah to the tenfold and bring him into your own house. That friend is falling into the category that is called Achnasat Orchim. There is no greatest mitzvah than Achnasat of Orchim. And the very first time we see Achnasat Orchim is in the book of Genesis, uh, chapter 18. You are not just to bring him in as a one time team, you are to carry him through until he's restored. You see, it's one thing we say in our, in our walk, when I'm praying for you, I'll keep you in prayer. But what is it says by Yeshua himself, when I was naked, you give me clothes, and when I was hungry, you fed me. This is Torah, brothers and sisters. The Torah is the asiya of doing a mitzvah that is difficult toward a brother who is very far away. He is in a great distance from him. Ve'ken ta'ase lechamoro, ve'ken ta'ase lesimlato, ve'ken ta'ase avdat achicha. Which the Torah here has given us a generic rule. Avdat achicha. Anything that your brother is lacking. Emotionally, physically, spiritually, psychologically, you are responsible to restore. This is what the Torah is coming to teach us today, that we are to restore avdat achicha. This is an important word. Anything that your brother is lacking is upon us today. And and you find it and you cannot ignore it. 
The Torah has come to teach us that until our brother is restored, we cannot be ignoring it. You cannot be ignoring it. So don't go today with ignorance and with indifference. Because one who is indifferent, brothers and sisters, toward his own brother, is indifferent before God. Mi kamocha ba elim Adonai, the word elim, Aleph, Lamed, Mem, indifference. One who is indifferent to his brother, God will be indifferent to him. And this is, friends, our Regabevri today. Thank you.